another day, another destiny to see the kind of plan God has for me. All the stuff doesn't have money. Here we go again, my, my, how can we reach up? 
calling the Lord. Does it show up in my mind? Just how much we need you. Yes, we've been calling on you. And we know you will come through. Why, why won't you answer our question? Calling the Lord. Here we go again. My, my. How can we reach you? Calling the Lord.
so that he wouldn't be injured in battle. And King Jehoshaphat rode in King Ahab's place. But despite these tricks, King Ahab was injured in battle and later died, just like Elijah said he would. After King Ahab died, a new king rose to power, Ahab's son, Ahazaya. And the Bible says that Ahazaya was worse than his father. Ahazaya brought back idol worship just like his father had done. He caused God's anger to burn against him just as his father had done. One day, King Ahazaya was out on his balcony and he was leaning just a little too far over the edge of the railing when it broke and he fell from his balcony entering himself so badly. So the new king sent a messenger to Belzebub, the god of Ekron, to ask this god whether or not he would survive his injury. So God sent an angel to Elijah and told Elijah to go meet this group of men with a new message for the new king. How much further do you think we have to go? I don't know, but my feet are killing me. Can we just stop for a minute? Not if you value your life. <clears throat> you don't want King Ahaziah to find out we stop a lot when it concerns his health. Wait a second. Who's that goofy looking guy over there? Make way for messengers from the king. You think you are messengers? I have a message for your king from the Lord. And he says this is because there's no God in Israel that you run off to consult with Belzebub, God of Ekron. Here's the message that you tried to bypass and take it directly to your king. Tell him that he will not get out of the bed that he lies in. He's as good as dead already. Ooh, this is going to be bad. Hope he doesn't decide to shoot the messenger. The men returned to King Ahaziah as fast as they could with this message. They found King Ahaziah lying in his bed. He 
sent another captain with 50 more men to capture Elijah. Oh, holy man, by order of King Ahaziah, you are to come down right now. If it's true that I am a holy man, let lightning strike you and your 50 men. Surely as the Lord lives and as you live, 
I will never leave you. I'll go with you. Very well. <laughs> Imagine me and you, I do. I think about it day and night. It's only right to think I get to follow you from side to side. We'll travel together. I said I'd follow you every time. Don't think that I will ever stop and stay behind. We'll speak the word of God that is oh so divine. We'll travel together. To be. I only want to follow you, and you and me will travel together. I can't see me following nobody but you for all my life. When I'm with you, a light to the skies is so blue for all my life. Me and you, and you and me, no matter. The loss, it has to be. I only want to follow you, and you leave me. We'll travel together, so happy together. We'll travel together, so happy together. Such beautiful weather. We'll travel.
to say the word, and you'll send 50 of our strongest men to go find him. Because perhaps he's on some mountain top or in some valley. <laughs> no. Don't go. He won't be there. He's in heaven with the Lord. <gasps> But when he stopped 
and listen to that small whisper from God, he realized that it didn't matter what was happening in the world. He would listen and follow God. You know, that reminds me of another ascension story. When Jesus arose from the dead, it reminded him that he was going to spend several days going and giving his last instructions and bits of wisdom to his apostles. He told them that they would receive power through the Holy Spirit and to go forth and tell everyone what they had witnessed. Then Jesus went to the Mount of Olives, and he was taken up in the clouds. And the disciples stood there waiting for him, but he was not there because he had gone to be with his father. That very evening, they received the Holy Spirit, and they were changed men. They went out and began telling about Jesus and about God's perfect love for them. This is what we are called to do through Christ to believe, repent, confess, and be baptized, and then go and spread the news of God to everyone we know. If we do this, we will be changed forever. The impossible will be possible. The unreachable will be just within our grasp. God's love is waiting for you. He wants you to listen to him, even if it may be just a whisper in your heart. Because when we truly begin to believe, our lives will become amazing, and we can set the world on fire. Fire in me. Start a fire. 